turnover ratios tell us that how much efficiently a firm has turned over the amount invested in assets into the sales that is why these ratios are also called as management ratios or asset management ratios or efficiency ratios in this class we have inventory turnover ratio this ratio tell us that how much efficiently a firm has converted the amount invested in its inventory into sales the formula of this ratio is cost of sales over average inventory if we have cost of sale of rupees 435000 and inventory of rupees 75000 and we divide cost of sales with the inventory we get the ratio of 5.80 this means for every 1 rupee invested in 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 inventory the firm has generated a cost of sale of 5.8 rupees so the inventory has been converted into cost of sales by 5 times this means that higher is the ratio higher is the efficiency level of the management and lower is the ratio and lower is the management efficiency then we have inventory turnover in days this may this means that how much days a firm takes in order to replace in inventory in the go down the formula of this ratio is 365 days in the year over inventory turnover ratio or this another version we can use the variable working days in a year in place of 365 days in this example we have 365 days and 5.8 times as inventory turnover ratio if we divide 365 over 5.8 we get an answer of 63 this means that in this particular example firm needs 63 days to make its go down in empty this means inventory with the firm helps 63 days in its go down now what is the relationship between inventory turnover ratio and inventory turnover ratio in days there is an inverse relationship this means that higher the turnover ratio lesser is the turnover in days and vice versa so if the turnover ratio is higher so turnover in days will be lesser and this would show the better management of inventory by the firm next we have data stored over ratio this ratio tells us that how much times a firm has generated sales with reference to its investment in the debtors we have two variables a net sale and receivables in this example we have net sales of 1.0345 million and receivables of 0.125 million and if, if we determine the ratio we have an answer of 8.2 Two eight times. This means that the firm has generated more than eight times of an amount invested in its debtors or in its receivables. In simple words, every rupee invested in debtors has been converted into sale of eight point two eight rupees. So higher is the ratio. This means the firm has better. managed its receivables if we determ determine debt is turned over in days we simply divide 365 days or working days in a year divided by average and receivables turnover ratio using this example we divide 365 over 8.28 and we get the answer of 44 this means that firm gives 44 days to its debtors to pay off their debt again there is an inverse relationship between debt is turnover ratio and debt is turnover ratio in a days or collection period debt is collection period higher is the debt is turnover ratio lesser is the collection period and using this example letting other things remaining the same we may say that if the firm reduces its 
डेटर्स कलेक्शन पीरियड द फर्म मस्ट हैव गेड अप इट्स डेटर्स टर्न ओवर रेशो देन वी हैव पेबल्स टर्न ओवर रेशो दिस रेशो टेल अस दैट हाउ मच टाइम अ फर्म टेक्स इन ऑर्डर टू पे ऑफ इट्स क्रेडिटर्स द फार्मूला टू डिटर्मन दिस रेशो इज परचेजिज ओवर क्रेडिटर्स If we use the, an example of payable turnover ratio, let's say we have four hundred thirty-seven thousand three hundred S an amount in purchases, and one thousand and seven one hundred seventy-five thousand rupees is creditors. We divide purchases over creditors. We get a ratio of two point five times. This means that for every rupee. taken from creditors the firm has generated a purchase is equal to 2.5 times of the creditor similarly if we want to determine payable turnover ratio we divide 365 days or working days in a year over creditors turnover ratio using this example we have 365 days and 2.5 times the turnover ratio the answer we get is 146 days this means that firm has a payment period of 146 days so apparently this seems very good that firm has spontaneous credit of 146 days firm has to pay after 146 days so during this period the firm can use this amount on its other needs but we have to remember that if we stretch the collection period there may be a problem for the firm in terms of lose out of the debtors and if a firm wants to extend its collection period then the goodwill of the firm may be impaired so a firm has to create a balance between these two then we have total assets turnover ratio this ratio tells us that how much amount invested in the total assets a firm has converted into its sales so higher is the ratio higher is the assets management or efficient management done by the company if we have sales of 1.034 million and total assets of 2 million we gets a ratio we get a ratio of 0.2 0.52 times this means that firm has just created sales equal to half of its its assets apparently it's not a good management of the assets at least minimum the turnover ratio in assets should be equal to 1 finally we have capital employee turnover ratio this ratio tells us that how much funds firm has invested into its assets in order to generate a sale of rupee 1 if we have sale of 1.0345 million and a capital implied of 1.497 million and we get a ratio of 0.70 this means that firm has just generated a sale equal to 70% of the funds invested in assets so apparently this is not a much efficient use of the capital employed the firm has been able to create only a portion of the capital invested 